Now, Jeff Hardley first appeared as Ken Dingle in Emmerdale back in 2000. He's often referred to as the bad lad of the deals, but this week we're set to see well a more emotional side to Kane following his mum Faith's recent terminal breast cancer diagnosis. I've got cancer. What? I don't know if this is such a good idea. Well, you can't cancel the party now. No, not the party. Just telling Kane and Chaz what's what. Can we just... I wouldn't expect any pity from you, not even on my deathbed. Give me a day and I'll stick in the diary. I haven't got a date yet, but the cancer is back and it's terminal. I'm not like you, Kay. I want her to fight. I still think, you know. If you left now, your mum's appointment. I would have given anything to have been there for my mum when she died. It's not the same. No, it's not the same because you've got a choice and you can get to say goodbye. So don't you dare throw that away. Well, Jeff, who plays Kane, of course, joins me now. Very emotional, wondering whether he can build those bridges with his mum. It's affecting everything we saw there. It's affecting his relationship with Moya. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of ramifications. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's um, it's a great story for, for for me to play because I think his Achilles heel is his mother. Yeah. I think we're all products of, of our parents, and I think the viewers sometimes think that Kane's just a wee bit moody, and it's a bit more than that yeah. on this one because. She's walked out on him so many times. He just wanted to be the mother that he's always wanted to be, and she's always let him down. Yeah. And I think this story is about love. It's about reconciliation. It's not just a cancer story. It's about saying what you need to say before yeah. somebody leaves her. That's you know, very true. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. And that's where Emmerdale does these kind of storylines so, so well, because so many people relate to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, how often have we left it too late? No, I know. Before and I, you have those difficult conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's important to, oh, to say what you need absolutely, to say. Absolutely, absolutely. And we've seen a kind of more, if you like, a more vulnerable side to Kane. Now, mm -hmm. you know him inside out, of course. Yeah. You know, you played him for 22 years. What do you think of him? Well, well I, I think, he's a, like I say, he's a very complex character. Very it's not much. just as simple as he's this... He is a product of, of, of what, what, he, what, what happened to him as a child. So he had a, a drunk for a father which was Shadrach and he had a mother that left him when he was 10 or 11 years old we did a flashback episode a few years ago I and it explained an awful lot and I think that's why Kane is the way he is he's not just this kind of thug or this moody kind of furrowed browed character that 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 was once two-dimensional but now isn't because I've been in the show for so long well that's the thing that's the joy of it it's like an onion isn't it Correct. we get to find out Correct. so yeah. much more yeah. especially as the years go on we mm. get to find so much more I think that's why despite the fact that he has done some despicable things yes. people still have a real soft spot because yeah. they see the whole character and I think in in the episodes coming up this week I think we see a side to him certainly that I, I don't think I've ever there was a scene we did uh, that will be on this week and it took me by surprise as well but I, I just I, I suppose I just connected with the script and with the story and yeah. sometimes things happen and, and it was it was quite emotional it is it's going to be very mm. very emotional it, it really is I mean you can you can see that it's why Emmerdale does so well I'm, I'm we so, care, you know, I'm, we care about the characters. I was so upset about losing Sally Dexter though. Um, She's fantastic. There's a few actors that come into the show where where you're on set and you just can't take your eyes off them and yeah. what they do. We were doing something just last night and I just, I just I'm mesmerised watching her. She's so good and she's such a joy to work with, such a great human being and I'm, I'm so sad that we're losing her. I love the fact that you are still so passionate about what you do, but it's because you play somebody who is so complex and so complicated. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, because you never know, never know what he's going to do next. No, you, you really, really don't. It's so interesting as well that you and, and, and Zoe, of course, plays Rona. Uh -huh. I keep forgetting you're married. Yes. You don't actually, I mean, not only because, you know, we don't, you don't sort of like see you that much and, and you don't have that much to do with each other on the show, uh -huh. but it must be good to have somebody who knows exactly what it's like. But you can say, look, I've got a massive big scene and I've just got to go away some way and learn all these lines. Yeah, no, we, you know, we, you know that, that's the thing. It makes it easier in some way. It does, and we, we support each other and, and it works really well for us as a family. Um, we've got this this allotment that we, we have time to I kind of go away. I love your allotment. Yeah. You grow giant things. We grow big uh, Huge yes. things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it kept us sane in, in lockdown. Look at them polyflowers. Oh, yeah. That's impressive. Yes, very good. So... <laughs> 
Yeah, is that your happy place? That is our happy place. place. Yeah, and we can kind of just get our hands in the earth and, and forget about the day. You know, it's great. So it's, really it's, it's a positive thing to watch something grow. I think, isn't it? And also, I know you take your dogs out as well, and that's, dogs, that's how I look. Dogs. look. Yes, that, I'm gorgeous. They're a bit wet there, but that's Ronald and Rita, yeah. Ronald and Rita, yeah. oh, yeah. they're so cute, they're yeah. fantastic. And do you still DJ? Do you still I do, that? yes. I'm yeah. doing something in Manchester in Cholton this Thursday, actually, um, which is, I think it's called, it's, it's called One Deck Wednesday, but actually it's on a Thursday. Oh, that's So that'd be good. <laughs> that's good. No, but it's just, I can play what, that, what, what I want, and, and it's just, it's great fun. And it's all different kinds of music for me, you and Yeah, I mean, it's kind of soul, funk, reggae, old kind of 60s stuff, and yeah, lots of break beats, and yeah, it's, it's everything really, but that has been my outwork acting job you know whenever we were talking just earlier about being an actor you yeah. always need something else to, to have another string to your bow correct just in case and dj was always my never know it's yeah. always your kind of still still might be yeah well that's it you never you never no. can tell no. and it's always difficult because and you know your kids maybe they want to do the same thing and you want to encourage them of course no. but you know not everybody's lucky enough to no. have so a solid job no. for over 22 years this is the yes thing. Yeah. i've been lucky i've been blessed i wow. I, I, I remember what you do i remember starting years ago and thinking well i won't be getting a mortgage you know after about <laughs> two years of acting i thought well um, this is going to be tough but hey but look at you look it's, at you now and 50 years is it yeah, 50 years been doing 50 years, is it October? Yeah. October, yeah, we've got some big stories planned. Yes. Um, so it, it, I think, you know, watch this space. It's going to, I, I, we know kind of roughly what's happening now yeah. as a cast. We're always the last to know. Of course. But of course. we now know what's going on, and I think it's going to be a it's really... Be so I think it's a, a line-up a month of, of really great storylines. 15 you know? years? I know. That's incredible, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, going from strength to strength, and I think the new time slot as well. Helps, um, I, yeah. I find it easier. I think just half, yeah, half an hour as well. I think yeah. half an hour in all oh, short. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely yeah, yeah. perfect. I think we have one hour a week, but yeah, it's grateful. Long may you continue to do what you do. I can't wait to see what happens this week. It's great. It's great. I mean, Sally, and I'm, again, I'm blessed to work with such brilliant actresses. Help makes my job so much easier, but Lucy and, and, and Sally are just the best. It's very good. Thank you Thanks so you. much, Jeff. It's great to see you. And Emmerdale, of course, continues tonight, half past seven on ITV, not to be missed. Right, so after the break from cheating death to raising millions, legendary exploder Serrano Fines is right here ahead of a remarkable new film about his extraordinary life with never before seen footage. It really is unmissable. And. The old ex girlfriend. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. You won't take. She is back alongside Chris Hemsworth. Hollywood's Natalie Portman tells me about doing the school run with a mighty Thor.